Good Friday morning, everyone. I'm Tom Cook. And I'm Erica Simon in for Samika and I. We want to get you caught up right away on Tropical Storm Barry. Here's meteorologist Colin Myers with the latest. Yeah, guys, if you're tuning in right now, actually quite a few updates just after the 7 a.m. hour central time. The next update will be 10 a.m. They're coming in every three hours now. It looks like there's still a lot of disorganization from the latest track and the wording from the National Hurricane Center. I want to read this to you. First of all, take a look here. Pressure down to 998 millibars. So it has dropped in pressure. That's a slight strengthening from a thousand millibars. Also the movement west northwest at five miles per hour. All right, the broad circulation of Tropical Storm Barry was located over the northwestern Gulf. It is moving towards the west northwest now at about five miles per hour. A track toward the northwest is expected later today, followed by a turn eventually to the north on Saturday. Uh, looks like the central or southeastern coast of Louisiana is still in play for first official landfall, but there's a lot yet to be seen with the storm as it's hardly moving. They have it making landfall fall sometime late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Again, central to southwestern Louisiana now, if not a little further to the west from that initial track. And I can't rule out seeing a few thunderstorms from this, but we'll have to see where it goes. Here's the latest satellite this morning. Again, it continues to churn uh, and it looks like it is trying to develop almost a new center of motion right here, if you can see that. So still keeping close eyes on Tropical Storm Barry. It could become a category one hurricane. It is still slowly strengthening as, as it sits over these warm Gulf waters. We'll be keeping an eye on this all throughout the day and bringing you the latest updates again. Be sure to stay tuned on this one. This is a very odd looking storm and it's definitely following a different pattern, not one we typically see. Let's zoom in on it. You can see the motion of it. There is a little bit more of a defined circulation in there. Uh, what I want to do is show you the distance from Louisiana again over 100 miles south of Louisiana still. Again, if it's going to make that turn to the north, it has to do it soon here. The Weather Service saying that it could be tomorrow by the time it does that. That circulation does look pretty good on water vapor now. Looks like it's re-intensifying on the northern side. There's a look at infrared imagery there. We still have a little notch in here as wind shear tries to rip into the middle part of that. So as for your Houston forecast so far, subject to change, got to watch Barry very closely. This is a, a last minute moving storm here. Saturday, Sunday, rain chances late into early Sunday. Some of those thunderstorms could be heavy at times, but again, keep close eyes on Barry. That'll affect our whole weekend weather. By Tuesday, we are done and we'll see more sunshine. All right, just some breaking news now in the spring area. An 86 year old woman died in a house fire on Friar Lake near Bell Chase in spring. About 3 a.m. A precinct four deputy constable responded to a burglary alarm at the home. He couldn't get inside, so he called in the fire department. Firefighters found that woman dead inside near the back door. They believe she was trying to get out right now. The cause of the fire is under investigation. Well, the family of the Pakistani exchange student killed during the Santa Fe High School school shooting is learning about their daughter's final moments. Sabina Sheik was one of the people killed in the 2018 shooting. Her family has spent time with the 17 year old's host family and even towards Santa Fe High. Most went into the art room where the shooting started. Sheik's mother couldn't bring herself to do it, saying that image would have stayed with her for life. Two men are in custody after Harris County Precinct 1 deputy constables busted what they call another illegal game room last night. The raid happened near Tidwell at the East Texas Freeway Service Road. Two dozen customers were inside along with more than 89 gaming machines. Authorities say they've been tracking this investigation for months. This is just the latest in a series of game room raids by Precinct 1. Now to some breaking news in Northeast Houston. We've been on top of this since we hit the air at 430. A woman's body was found in an SUV at Sayers near Fogel. A woman was found stamped to death. Police radio calls indicate her fiance called 911 saying that he killed her. We'll update this story for you on ABC13.com. To the NBA now, major, 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 major news involving the Houston Rockets. Yeah, the Thunder's Russell Westbrook is coming to Houston, reunited with James Harden. But the Rockets are sending guard Chris Paul to Oklahoma. Jeff Ealing now with reaction from fans. Jeff, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Rockets fans say the team is giving them something to cheer about in the offseason, reuniting Russell Westbrook with James Harden. The fans say it feels so good. With just one move, the Rockets are now one of the top four teams in the NBA. Odds makers say bringing Russell Westbrook to Houston and pairing him with James Harden give the Rockets 7-1 to one odds of bringing home another title, and fans are ready for it. 
It's be very interesting to see how the Rockets uh, play against the Western uh, Western contenders, like all throughout the regular season. I'm excited. Westbrook and Harden went to the NBA Finals with Oklahoma City in 2012. They lost to LeBron James in the Miami Heat, but since then, both Westbrook and Harden have become league MVPs and All Stars. It's gonna be a very interesting watch. I mean, I hope they get along. That's the main thing. Is are they gonna get along? But I mean, either way, if it's it's gonna be drama. It's and part of that drama does involve Chris Paul. The trade sends him to Oklahoma City. A lot of people reacting on Twitter and Facebook saying thank you to the efforts that he gave to the Houston Rockets. And when Tillman Fertitta bought this team, you'll recall, he said he wants to bring a championship to H-Town. A lot of fans say this is the next step in that process. At Toyota Center, Jeff Ealing, 13 Eyewitness News. Thanks, Jeff. Now to the Astros and the question, will the third baseman play tonight? Alex Bregman, he had to get stitches after his hit in the face trying to field a ground ball last night. Watch. Back up the middle indeed, and taking a really tough hop. It caught Bregman in the face. Yeah, it was going 99 miles an hour when the ball skipped and drilled Bregman in the chin. He had to leave the game in the third inning and get four stitches. Well, later in the game, money went flying in the stands. A Rangers fan tried to catch a foul ball. You see his wallet in his hand? Well, there goes the wallet, and there goes the money. Some helpful fans nearby helped him get some of the money back. You <laughs> see people counting it. But apparently he didn't get all of the money back. I wonder how much he had I'm, in I there. I know. I'm trying to see those bills. That I thought yeah. I saw a few 20s in there. Is it yeah. worth it for the ball? Yeah. How much was he carrying? Apparently they man? thought so because they're counting and probably putting it away. He might you know carry saying, more than you do. The baseball. Keep your money in your pocket. Go get another beer. Forget the baseball. Right. All right. I'm just kidding. All right. Megadop the maybe not. Megadop 13 HD. A few thunderstorms to our south. Could see more activity tonight and also on Saturday. But all eyes, of course, still on Barry. The latest track. We got an intermediate advisory just after 7 a.m. They will not shift the track until 10 a.m. AM, but they very slowly nudged this further to the west. Take a look at the last update. It shows the tropical storm centroid, the location right here. It's really just here now, just to the south and west. So a few tracks are wanting to take this to the west. I'm not buying those, but I'm also not buying that it's turning due north just yet. We have to watch very carefully. As for the moment, it's hardly moving. Stalling now northwest at about three to five miles an hour. It is strengthening very slowly, very slowly. May become a Cat 1 hurricane. If it can get there, it might remain tropical. Tropical storm, hurricane warnings and watch is still in place for southern Louisiana. Nothing for the upper Texas coast yet. All right, Friday looking good here today. A few scattered thunderstorms. We'll be watching very, very closely, though. Could impact our entire weekend forecast. As you see, finally on Tuesday, everything moves out. And finally, some sun and heat uh, returns. The heat's going to be with us, but we may have to watch very, very closely for this weekend. Elisa. All right, we are tracking weekend closures. Let's take a look and see what's happening because we have a lot going on along the West Loop. So a total closure of the West Loop southbound this weekend, starting Friday night at 9 o'clock, lasting through Monday morning. Your alternate routes are Chimney Rock because it's not just those southbound lanes, all that connects to the southbound lanes. We're talking about the West Loop well, let's talk about first about the West Loop northbound. Two lanes closed on the northbound side, but the ramps from the Katy Freeway and 290 to the West Loop southbound closed as well. So this is a major shutdown wow. of the area. They're doing work. They're hanging steel beams for the dedicated elevated bus lane. And so it just requires a shutdown of a lot of major thoroughfares. So if you don't have business in the Uptown or Galleria area, please choose another area this weekend because it will definitely be congested. All that's going to pour into the Southwest Houston neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. So everybody, please be patient <laughs> yeah. this weekend on the West side. Yeah, otherwise it'll be your temporary home, right? <laughs> it won't be moving. It will be behind the traffic West Loop's already slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. already. All right, that's Eyewitness News for this morning. You can always stay up to date with us on the ABC 13 mobile app and online. Have a great weekend.